Number 26. Oh, this problem. <laughs> My least favorite out of all these. It's a puzzle problem, but I don't think it's totally fair. Anyways, in the XY plane, a parabola has vertex of 9, negative 14 and intersects the X axis at two points. The equation of the parabola is written in the form Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C, where A, B, and C are constants. Which of the following could be the value of A plus B plus C? Okay, just get this out of the way. The reason I don't think this, fit, this is fair is because it says which of these could be the value. This problem has to be solved by plugging numbers in. Has to. You have all these steps you have to do beforehand, all this knowledge you have to have, but at the end of the day, you have to plug these numbers in and see which one. Which some may argue when they say which of the following could be the value, it's suggesting you have to plug things in. Mm. I don't know, this to me, it made me think of like which of the following is a possible solution is what made me think. Maybe I'm just looking at it wrong, but I don't know. I think 20, when you're on problem 26 and it's a complicated puzzle problem, you should be able to solve it mathematically and not just let me put numbers in. Not that that's a, not to say that that's a, a bad strategy. A lot of times it's the best strategy, but this one, it's not an, an optional thing. You have to do it. Rant over. Let's get started on this sucker. Here we have this parabola. Let's do a quick sketch to just visualize where it is. So it's at 9, I'm not drawing this to scale, and negative 14, and it has an intersection of the x-axis at two points. So it's opening up. So what do we know about this thing already? We know it's a positive parabola. In that ax squared plus bx plus c, that a must be positive because it's opening up. Okay. How would I write an equation for this parabola? I don't have enough to write a full equation for it, but I can get started. If you use the vertex form, it looks like this. Okay, so <laughs> the H and the K, those are the, um, that the H and K are the coordinates of the vertex. And A is the number that's going to end up in front of that X squared that determines whether this is a really skinny little parabola or whether it's very wide, however it looks. That determines the A. H and K are, are the vertex. And you can write any parabola in this format. So let's plug in the H and K. H is the X coordinate. That is positive 9. So I'm going to plug in a positive 9 for H, don't get deceived by this minus and think, oh, it's a positive 9, so it should be plus. No, that minus is part of this formula. The H is all by its little lonesome. So it's a positive 9, so you plug in a positive 9 there, leave that minus alone. Out here, the K is negative 14. So I'm going to plug that in here, negative 14. And now I'm going to expand this. I'm going to expand this parabola so we can get to something that looks like this, the ax squared plus bx plus c. So first, and let me scoot that little <laughs> 27 out of the way, and I'm going to, I'm going to erase this. We'll come back to it, we'll come back to it in a bit, this kind of idea of what the parabola is, but I'm just going to put a little, little sketch. So just remember that our parabola it's something, it goes down and it goes up. So vertex is down here and it's opening up. Keep that idea in mind. Okay, to expand this first, I'm going to multiply this out. X minus 9 squared expanded is going to be X squared minus 18X plus 81. And you can do that by FOIL. You can write X minus 9 times X minus 9 and do FOIL. Or if you know the shortcut that says squares are equal to... Um, it's going to be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, where this is your a and that's your b. That's the pattern I, I use. If you don't have that pattern in mind, you can always use FOIL. It's fine. Okay, and the little a comes along for the ride. And then we have our plus a negative 14, which I'm going to write as minus 14. And let's, this one's just going to take a lot of <laughs> writing, so I'm trying to give me some room here. Let's distribute that a throughout. So I get ax squared minus 18ax plus 81a minus 
14. All right, so a, b, and c are constants, and this is, this can be written as ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, so what are my a, b, and c? a is just a. I'll write that down. My a is a. My b is the coefficient of the x, which is negative 18a. And then finally, my c is my constant, which is these two together because a is a constant. So 81 times a is also a constant. 81a minus 14 is altogether a constant. So that's my c. Now they say, which of the following could be the value of a plus b plus c? So I need to add all of these together. So a plus a negative 18a plus 81a minus 14. All right, so if we have a plus a negative 18a plus 81a, you're going to get 64a. So 64a minus 14 is the same as a plus b plus c. Now, I'm asked to see which of these could be equal to this. Which of these numbers could be equal to 64a minus 14? Now we come back to this concept up here. This has to be a, a parabola that opens up because the vertex is below the x-axis, but it intersects the x-axis at two points. So a must be positive. If I set these, these, <laughs> was that? If I set 64a minus 14 equal to each of these in turn, and then I solve, in which one do I get a positive value for a? So now I have to go through and do each of these in turn. So you have to plug in. Again, plugging numbers in is often a, val a totally valid technique and a strategy, especially when you're not really sure where to go. I'm just not, I think it's a bit meh to have on 26 to have one where you have to plug stuff in to just try to muddle your way through it and not be able to just figure it out. Yeah, I'm still a little sore on this one. I don't know. I don't like it. I just don't like it. Okay, let's start with our first one. Negative 23. If I add 14 to both sides, I'm going to get 64a on the left, and I'm going to get a negative 9 on the right. Now, as you can see here, then you might be able to jump ahead at this point, which if you can, that's great, because otherwise this is extra time consuming. Because look here. I have this negative 23, and I'm going to add a number to it, and then I'm going to divide. Because you look at this point right here. When I divide both sides by 64, it doesn't really matter the number I get. Just know that it's a negative 9 being divided by a positive 64, so I'm going to get a negative value for A, which, again, I can't have because it's a parabola opening up, so A should be positive. So what will we think go, hmm, what number should go here? What number does this have to be bigger than? If I'm going to add 14 to it, and it has to end up being positive, it needs to be small enough, or in this case, actually weirdly big enough, because it's a negative, negative number, that when I add 14 to it, I get a positive number. So would negative 19 work? No, negative 19 plus 14 is still going to be negative. Would negative 14 work? No, negative 14 plus 14 is zero, and I need A to be a positive number. If zero is up here, this parabola doesn't exist because <laughs> then it would be zero x squared. That's not a parabola. You know, we'd have a line. <laughs> like, no, it's a parabola. So D, negative 12 is the only one that would work because if I put negative 12 in there, then negative 12 plus 14 is a positive 2. Thank goodness. And then A is going to be 2 over 64. It's a positive number. That's all we needed it to be positive. So D is my answer. Have I mentioned before I don't like that problem? <laughs> Sorry, I have such a negative viewpoint against it. It rubbed me the wrong way. All right, moving on. 
Hey guys, just a quick heads up. I've got some cool stuff coming for y'all, including a free course full of SAT tips and tricks, as well as an exhaustively complete course on everything you need to know for the SAT, both math and reading. So subscribe to the channel to get notified when that goes live. I'm also going to put it in the comments and description below as soon as it does. In the meantime, if this video was helpful or useful in any way, please let YouTube know. Comment, like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.